Did you know in Spider-Man No Way Home, this was actually Willem Dafoe's fourth time playing Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe played the villain in the first of Sam Raimi's trilogy Spider-Man movies. Then he came back to perform cameos in the other two trilogy movies. Him and Jamie Foxx were particularly excited to portray their villains again, and Willem would only do it if he was allowed to perform as many of his own stunts as possible. Did you know in Ant-Man, Paul Rudd was actually too buff for his initial costume design. According to Michael Douglas, Paul had gone through a training and workout regimen to buff up to the size of a superhero. Well, his workout regimen worked so well that they had to soften up his costume. On top of that, Paul worked with a gymnast to be able to do the rolls and flips. He said that all of it was so he would be as convincing as possible as a superhero. Did you know in Black Widow? Natasha Romanova's wrist-mounted lasers are yellowed to pay homage to the classic Black Widow costume in the comics. The Marvel Cinematic Universe frequently likes to make comic book references in their works to pay tribute to where the Marvel Universe started. Costume references are one of the most common ways the Marvel Cinematic Universe likes to pay homage to the Marvel comics. Different Marvel characters will have different costume alterations to represent the original comic book from throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Did you know in Underworld? They actually tried to do a crossover with Marvel Studios. Back in 2003, the creators of the Underworld franchise actually approached Marvel Studios with the idea of doing a crossover with the Blade franchise. They even mentioned having Wesley Snipes come back to reprise his role. Marvel ultimately declined, due to the fact that they wanted to do something else with Blade on their own terms in the future. Did you know in the unbearable weight of massive talent, Nicolas Cage actually had to do research on how to play himself. Nicholas had to watch some of his more unconventional press interviews to research and prepare his alter ego look. He even developed the wardrobe and look of his alter ego off of what his appearance looked like in those interviews. He even took the boots, black jeans, and leather jacket from his promotion of Wild at Heart in 1990.